about that, but when you say he has a, a lot of chess in his game, what do you, what does that mean? It's because, you know, I think 99.9% of players who get the puck with four seconds left are shooting the puck. Yeah, but I think he already understood stood the move that were being made, you know. So sometimes you make a move to make the next one, and that's what chess is, you know. So he was already understanding what that move made, like the rotation, everything how it went, and how the other team was moving off that move and then off that play, and then he just took advantage of of the what we set up earlier until he got the puck. Last question, Stu. Uh, thanks. Um, you're talking about you know Nick being able to see things like that, but for Cole, everybody knows he wants to go to Cole, right? For him to be able to keep finding that open space, is that something you can use to teach other guys on the team? Or is it well, deception is a big part of the game, and Susie has a lot of deception coming down that wall, you know. And if you look at his shootout move, there's a lot of deception in his shootout move. And, um, you know, when he comes down the wall on the right side, you know, he shoots some of those. And sometimes when I say he's playing chess, because he's going to shoot a bunch, so they have to respect it. And then he, he finds Cole, you know. So if you if you never shoot, Cole probably will be not as open, you know. So there's... So Nick has as much to do with Cole being the final Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, it's, and he sells it, you know. He sells, he sells, he sells a shot and... He moves it, but sometimes he sells a shot and shoots it. So it's it's unpredictable sometimes for the opponent, and that's hard.